There's a lot going on in the cave this Friday night and we bring you the hottest action. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching Dela KHL Update. We take you to Yekaterinburg first where up to on the list play house to Amor. And the house get to work early. Alexia McKay opens up the score in less than a minute into the game. McKay is the one who doubles the lead muted through the frame. That's his second of the night and seventh of the season. They improve their lead to 3 0 late in the second. Stepan Kripanov buries the rebound while Stanislav Bacharov and Ryan Spooner pick up the assist. Atom Billy's bag it early in the third. Shane Prince converts in a power play for his tips of the season. Dmitry Shikin stops 25 shots for his second shutout of the year, and Yekaterinburg enjoy a 4-0 win on home ice. We move on to Balashika now, where the Red and Champs avant-garde defend the ice against the top team of the East, Metal or Town. Early in the game, Andrei Chibisev has a chance to put Kagnitko on the board, but it rings it off the post. Unlucky. They kick it off with an absolute beauty instead. Nikita Kurtelov pulls up the between the legs shot and celebrates his tenth of the season. Cheeky. The Hawks get back even late in the period. Nikolai Prohorkin scores against his former team in a 4 4 situation. Second period now, Chibisov goes for another shot and this time he hits the bar. I wouldn't buy any lottery tickets tonight if I were him. But he does get it over the goal line late in the frame. Chibisov has. Chibisov has his 12th of the season and Metal League lead 2 1. Avangard tied up again four minutes later. Better to Glarik fits Corbin Knight at the far post and he makes no mistake. The Hawks get a power play meter for the third and it proves to be crucial. Oliver Koski fires on McLeffer from the high slot and hits the back of the net. Pavel Didinov makes it official as he scores on the empty net. Avangard tied the season series at 1 with this 4 2 win on home ice. Our next stop is Nizhny Novgorod Torpedo Playhouse to Admiral tonight. The Sailors break the ice 7 minutes in. Mark Verbos scores his fourth of the season while Dmitry Sayusev picks up the only assist. Torpedo bring you back to square one before the intermission. Ivan Chekhovich scores from the slot. That's his ninth of the season. The house grabbed the lead early in the second. Former Ottawa 67 forward Arthur Tanulin hits the twine with a quick shot from the hash marks. Torpedo put it away in the third. And Emilio improves the lead to 3 1 while Kenny Agostino and Theodore Lenskov get the helpers. And finally, Tinolan scores his second of the night and fourth of the season on the empty net to secure the win for Torpedo. Tinolan enjoys his first career 3.9 in the game. Nizhny Novgorod get a W on home ice. 4 1 is the final. We're off to St. Petersburg now, where Struggle and SKA face off against Sibir. Army men break the ice seven minutes into the game. Andre Kuzmenko has the quickest hands in the slot and scores his 11th of the season. Second period now, Andre Kuzmenko is very close to getting another one over the goal line, but he can't beat Anton Krasotkin, who makes two great saves in a row. Nine seconds of the frame, Ilya Morozov plays it to his right, Nikita Sedikov throws it to the slot deflection and somehow it stays out. It stays a 1 0 game right till mid to the third. Ilya Morozov finds the back of the net with a redirect, but Yukudaka with the original shot. And late in regulation, Nick Shore scores the game winning goal. Sibir has done it again. They beat us out of the road for the second consecutive year. St. Petersburg was their fifth in a row. 2 1 is the final. We're now in Sochi, where the Leopards do battle with Lokomotiv. The first to strike late in the opening period. Maxim Beroskin scores his first career KHL goal, while Alexei Marchenko and Russian Rafikov get the helpers. Rafikov is the one who doubles the lead for Loco early in the second. This one comes on a power play. A signature bomb from Rafikov. 
Sochi get a go back a few minutes later and it comes in a man advantage as well. Former Ottawa Senator David Rumblin scores his first goal of the year. Locker put it away in the opening minute of the third. Alexander Palunin misses his tenth goal of the season and that's Sochi Road for this one. Loco beat Sochi on the road for the fifth consecutive time. 3-1 is your final. We're off to Minsk, Belarus now, where with Army challenge Dynamo. The red and blue open scoring 7 minutes in. Captain Sergei Andronov takes his shot from the high slot and it goes straight in. They double their lead later in the period. Maxim Sorkin pokes it past Alexei Kolsov on the rebound for his fifth of the season. Dynamo get a goal back right before the intermission. Ilya Shinkevich slams it home from on top of the circle. Red Army restores the two-goal margin late in the second. Mikhail Grigorenko converts into power play. They extend their lead to 4-1 just a handful of seconds into the third. That run Alexander Popov scores his second of the year, while Nikita Nesterov draws another assist. But Dynamo make things interesting again as they score two power play goals in a row. Pavel Verkholamev makes it a 4-2 hockey game. And three minutes later, Maltis Tromo scores his 13th of the season with a snipe from the circle. Red Army get a man advantage right after that, and Mikhail Gugurenko scores his second of the night to make it 5-3. And finally, late in regulation, Joaquin Nordstrom scores his second of the season to convert on a two-man advantage. This one is in the box. Red Army wins their fifth game out of six. 6-3 six is the final. And there's just one more score left to tell you about. Nefty Kimmich beat Tractor 1-0 on the road. Rafael McMullen scores the only goal on this one. And that's it for your daily KHL update, but do come back tomorrow for five more games, including Serverstal vs. Boris and Salavat Yilayev against Dynamo Moscow. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.